Hello, my name is Kelsey with Telware Corporation, and today I'll show you the Avaya Equinox mobile application. I'm using an Apple iPhone, but the application is also available for Android. However, the options may be slightly different. The purpose of this video is to show you the different options and the capabilities within the application and how to use the basic functions within the app. When you open the Avaya Equinox mobile application, you will see the main screen. This is also known as top of mind screen. At the top of the screen, you will see three little lines which represent the menu icon. This opens the menu options. We'll go over each of these starting with the top of mind screen. To the right of the menu icon, you will see top of mind followed by a downward facing arrow. If we click this arrow, it will bring up some options on how to configure your home screen, such as hiding certain features. Once you've configured your top of mind screen to your liking, press done. If you click your avatar in the upper right hand corner, you have the option of changing your present status. Your options are available, busy, away, do not disturb, and offline. These status options are visible to your Equinox contacts. Do Not Disturb sends all calls directly to voicemail. The text box under your name will allow you to write a custom note that will be displayed to all of your Equinox contacts in addition to your present status. You can also sign out of the application from this screen. After choosing your present status, press Done. Beneath this top heading, you will see an icon that looks like a dial pad. Click this icon to open a dial pad on your phone, giving you the option to dial a phone number in case that contact is not saved in your phone. At the bottom of this screen, you have four icons. The first is your redial button. If you click it, you will see the last number you dialed displayed on the screen. The next icon that looks like a phone is essentially a send button. Once a number is typed into the screen, simply press the green phone icon to initiate a voice call. The green camera button will initiate a video call. If you attempt to initiate a video call with a contact that does not support video calling, using this button will simply place an audio call. Finally, the fourth icon is a backspace option. If you click hide in the upper right corner, you will be brought back to the top of mind page. Next to the dial pad icon, you have a search field. You can use this field to enter the name of a coworker you would like to speak with. If you open the contact, you will see the options available, such as to initiate a video or voice phone call, send an instant message chat, or to send an email. If this person has not been added to your contacts, you will have an add to contacts option at the bottom of the page. If this is a person you speak with frequently, you will also have the option to add them to your favorites list which you can do by clicking the star option in the top right corner. Once the contact has been added to your favorites, the star will be a solid yellow color. Since I have synced my calendar with the application, you will see my upcoming appointments under the next meetings heading. Below the calendar events, you will see the heading messages. These are your three most recent chats. You can press more to take you to the full messages screen, which I will show you a little later. Below Messages, you will see Call History. Like Messages, it will show the three most recent calls in your call history. You can click the phone icon to quickly call those individuals back. At the bottom of the screen, if you are logged into Zang, you will see Spaces Dashboard. This is a shortcut to your Zang Spaces. Let's go back and click the menu icon I showed you earlier at the top left corner of the screen. Below Top of Mind, you will see a tab labeled Favorites. If we click this option, it will open a page showing all of the contacts we have added to our favorites. If there is a contact added here that you would like to remove from your favorites list, simply click the name, which will open the contacts page. From this page, click the solid star, which will then change to the black outline of a star, and remove the contact from your favorites list. Next, I will show you how to add a contact to your favorites. If we go back to the menu icon, the next option is Contacts. If you open your Contacts page, you will see a list of all of the contacts you have added to your directory. You can also scroll up and down through the contacts, 
Or you can use the alphabet characters on the right side of the screen to skip up and down to a certain letter. Contacts on Avaya Equinox have a colored circle to the left of your avatar. These colors indicate the contact status. Green means available, red is do not disturb, the yellow-orange color is away or busy, and gray is offline. Swiping left on a contact allows you to call that contact. Swiping right on the contact will add them to your favorites list. Clicking on the contact will open up additional details. From this page, you can click the back arrow to go back to the contacts page. To pull a contact from the phone system enterprise directory into your personal contacts, use the search field in the top of the page to locate that user. In this example, I will search for my coworker Brandon. There were no results in my personal contacts list, but he is in the enterprise directory. I will click on Brandon's enterprise profile. After viewing his directory details, I will press Add to Contacts. To add an external contact that is not in your enterprise directory, you can use the plus icon on the far right of the main contact screen to add a new contact. Back in the menu, you have the History page. This page will display all of your call history, including missed, incoming, and outgoing calls. Simply click a name to obtain more details about the call, such as the time of the call, duration, and you will see you have options to call, email, or chat with the contact. If you would like to filter your call history, you can click the downward arrow at the top of the screen. You can also delete all of your call history from this pop-up. On the Meetings page, you will see a list of your upcoming calendar events in order of their scheduled time. Click the event to see more details, such as location, meeting notes, and so on. You cannot add, edit, or delete meetings from this page. The Messages page will show you all of your chat conversations. You will see here that I have a red chat bubble on the Messages tab under the menu, indicating that I have a missed conversation. The number indicates the number of missed conversations. The bolded conversations are new and have not yet been responded to. You can click on a conversation to open and continue the conversations. You can also initiate a new chat by typing the contact's name in the search bar and choosing the chat option. You can type a message into the Enter Message field, or you can click the paperclip icon to attach a video or a photo. Those are the basic features of the Avaya Equinox mobile application. Thank you for watching!